हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन टाइप नंबर वन प्रॉब्लम नंबर सेवन वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन द गिवन प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ कर्व व्हिच विल रिवॉल्व अबाउट एक्स एक्सिस बिटवीन द टू पॉइंट्स कैपिटल ए एक्स वन वाई वन एंड कैपिटल बी एक्स टू वाई टू विल जनरेट अ सॉलिड whose surface area is minimum friends again for this particular problem same as the last one you need to remember the equation surface area of a solid generated by revolving about x axis between two points a and b is given by first of all friends you need to remember this i is equal to 2 pi integration from x1 to x2 you can take x0 to x1 also no problem y into root of 1 plus y dash square into dx you need to remember this equation then only you can proceed ahead if you forget this equation this problem is gone if you see this problem and the last problem that we solved there is a difference of this y here friends the functional is y into root of 1 plus y dash square there is slight change by euler's equation two options we do have equation number 1 and equation number 2 if you see this functional this functional is independent of x therefore i am going to use equation number 2 because x is there in equation number 2 only do f upon do x minus d by dx of f minus y dash do f upon do y dash equal to 0 since functional is independent of x do f upon do x equal to 0 let us substitute in this particular equation therefore i'll be ending up getting f minus y dash do f upon do y dash equal to 0 and it is minus d by dx if this minus d by dx will go that side therefore f minus y dash do f upon do y dash equal to c this we have discussed number of times let us substitute y dash here let us substitute f here f is y first of all friends i am just considering this i am leaving this 2 pi as of now and considering the remaining equation y root of 1 plus y dash square minus y dash do by do y dash of f that is y root of 1 plus y dash square equal to c therefore first term will remain as it is here this y dash will remain as it is this term also will remain as it is we need to differentiate this with respect to y dash therefore this y is constant root of 1 plus y dash square is 1 upon 2 root of 1 plus y dash square into derivative of y dash square is 2 y dash equal to c this will be gone therefore y root of 1 plus y dash square minus y into y dash square this y dash y dash will become y dash square and this y upon root of 1 plus y dash square equal to c let's take lcm here if you take lcm you'll get a root of 1 plus y dash square and we need to cross multiply this will become y here there is a root and this root 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 will be 1 1 plus y dash square root will be gone minus y into y dash square equal to c this multiplication let's open this bracket y plus opening this bracket y into y dash square minus y into y dash square upon 
root of 1 plus y dash square equal to c this will be cancelled therefore y upon root of 1 plus y dash square equal to c we are left with this aim is very clear i want y dash this side so that i can get y let's do that if you remember the discussion that we did in the last problem whenever you get square root first square square wherever you get square root first take square then think further this is y square upon 1 plus y dash square equal to c to separate y dash let's take inverse therefore this will be 1 plus y dash square upon y square is equal to 1 upon c square if you remember the last problem we separated let's separate here this will be 1 upon y square plus y dash square upon y square it's of no use to us if you remember the last problem after splitting we got result because there was in the denominator also there was y dash square therefore we got the solution but here separation is will not work for us what we need to be done is we need to separate out y dash square therefore 1 plus y dash square is 1 upon c square this y square will go this side and will become y square y square upon c square 1 plus y dash square therefore y dash square is y square upon c square minus 1 what next this is square let's simplify this lcm is c square this will be y square minus c square therefore y dash square is y square minus c square upon c square this is y dash square we want y dash for y dash we need to take square root that will be y square minus c square upon c square this can be written as y dash is dy by dx which is equal to let me separate it out 1 upon c square into root of y square minus c square separate it out into two parts now friends we want the value of y what needs to be done integrate is it the solution no for integration with respect to x here it should be only x or constant but here we are getting y what's the result what should be done here remember variable separable method when to apply variable separable method if on right hand side we do have y therefore by variable separable dy upon this term is y that will come down that is root of y square minus c square this term is a constant term you can name it as c1 and this dx will go this side and will become dx what next first term i am going to integrate with respect to y again friends you need to remember 1 upon root of y square minus c square is cos hyperbolic inverse of y by c that you need to remember no other option which is equal to this side i am going to integrate with respect to x c1 integration is c1x plus c2 therefore cos hyperbolic inverse will go that side y by c is equal to cos hyperbolic c1x plus c2 this c will be cross multiplied and y is equal to c cos h c1x plus c2 this is the solution of y but friends if you remember your original integration was this 2 pi x1 to x2 y root of 1 plus y dash square into dx we got the solution for this this 2 pi is left therefore the final i is you need to multiply with 2 pi into the solution that you got is c cos hyperbolic c1x plus c2 again this is entire constant so you can take it as c3 cos h c1x plus c2 this is the required solution for this particular problem hope you understood thank you